Here's a problem where we're given masses only. We have the same chemical reaction, but in this case we're given 3 grams of C4H8 in an excess of O2. Same question, predict how many moles and grams of CO2 would, perform, uh, would, would form. In this case, because we're given grams instead of moles, we first must convert the grams to moles. Because remember, there's what I call a mole field around the chemical equation. Because it would be erroneous for me to write 3.00 grams here and then try to carry out the problem as I showed you before. I need to first convert that moles to grams. So let's do that. Let's do that with a pencil. 3 grams and I convert grams to moles using the molar mass of C4H8. The molar mass of C4H8 is 56 grams per mole. But because I need to convert grams to moles, I reciprocate the molar mass. So now I divide 3 divided by 56. And that turns out to be 0 0.0 five, three, six moles of C4H8. So rather than putting three up here, which would be three grams, which is not correct, I'm going to put 0 0.0536 and states that I have an excess of O2, so I don't need to be concerned about the O2. So I base the amount of CO2 I'm going to produce on 0 0.0536 moles of C4H8. And that would produce, take a guess, we have a 1 to 4 ratio between CO2 and C4H8. So it would be four times the amount of C4H8 I have. So it would be four times 0 0.0536. And that would be 0 0.214 moles of CO2. So to answer the question of how many moles of CO2 will be produced, that would be 0.214 moles. To answer the question of how many grams of CO2 will be produced, simply follow that same procedure as last time. Convert 0.214 moles of CO2, like the CO2 there, to grams of CO2 using the molar mass of CO2 which was 44. So if you multiply 44 times 0.214, I end up with 9.43 grams of CO2. We'll try another one. Here's a problem where you have the same chemical reaction, but now we're given grams of each of the reactants. In this case, 10 grams of C4H8 and 10 grams of O2. Now, again, it would be erroneous for me to write 10 grams of each of these reactants under the equation because we did not convert to moles first. So, first thing we want to do is convert both of these quantities to moles. So, 10 grams of C4H8 
convert it to moles, we use the reciprocal of the molar mass of CH8, which in this case is going to be one mole over 56 grams. And 10 divided by 56 is point 0.179 moles of C4H8. So put that up here, 0.179, and now I have to convert 10 grams of O2 to moles. grams O2. The molar mass of O2 is, we'll estimate that to be 32.0 grams per one mole. And so 10 divided by 32. So now that I have my two reactants in mole values, I could test each of them for the amount of CO2 they would produce. So let's first test the point one the point three one three moles of O2. And I'm going to clean up the board down here. And then we'll check that out. So the O2 check is as follows point three one three moles of O2 and the mole ratio between O2 and CO2 is 4 moles of CO2 to 6 moles of O2 moles of O2 go out and now I have 4 6 times 0.313 and that's 0 0.208. Uh, let's write it like this. Let's get rid of this here. And write it up here. Now I'm going to check for the C4H8. And that 0.179 moles of C4H8 and the mole ratio between CO2 and C4H8 is 4 moles CO2 to 1 mole of C4H8. And the moles cancel out, and I'm left with four times 0.179, and that's 0.714. So in this case, the more realistic number is going to be the 0 0.208 moles of CO2. Even though, check it out, even though that there's more moles of O2 rather than C4H8, again, it's that 6 to 1 ratio that makes this occur this way. So our answer is going to be 0 0.208 moles of CO2. And if you convert 0 0.208 moles of CO2 to grams, you get 9.17 grams of CO2. I want to try one more, and I'm going to let you give it a shot first. 
here's the same reaction, but now we have two different amounts of the reactants. There's 15 grams of C4H8 and 5 grams of O2. Same question, predict the amount of moles of CO2 and grams of CO2 that would form. So why don't you pause the video, give it a shot, and then come back. So if you predicted that you would only form 0 0.104 moles of CO2, you'd be on. So let's start down here. First you want to convert each of the given reactants from grams to moles. So 15 grams of C4H8 is 0.268 moles of C4H8. I write that here. And 5 grams of O2 is 0.156 moles of O2. And I write that here. And then I test each one of these reactants. I wrote over here first C4H8. Multiply that by 4. I get 1.07. Then I multiply the 0.156 by 4 6 and it's 0 0.104. So I select the lesser amount. <coughs> so my answer is 0 0.104 moles CO2, and if you multiply 0 0.104 moles times 44, you should end up with 4.58 grams of CO2.